We want to get many things in life. When we do not get something, we become desperate to get those things. And when we do not get something, we become unhappy. If I ask you to stop your desires to get anything in life, that is also unfair because we as a normal human being, we have got many desires. So what is the way out? What is the art of giving and getting for happiness? In this video, we shall see how we can remain happy in this life in the process of giving and getting. Please listen to this video till the end so that you can have an understanding about how to remain happy in the process of giving and getting in this life. This world is like a flowing stream. In a stream, whenever the water is flowing ahead, a vacuum is being created and that's being filled up by the flowing water coming from the back. Similarly, in this world, when you give something to somebody, a void is created and that's filled by flow of getting. <clears throat> you may get anything in any form and from anywhere and that will create a pleasurable experience for you. It's an unseen process through which the flow of energy is maintained and equilibrium is restored in this universe by this process of giving and getting. We don't realize it. When you want to get something, we hardly realize that there is need for giving something in return. Therefore, if you want to get something in life, first learn to give. It would maintain the flow. Never forget that the complement of giving is getting. We forget to give something in return when you get something. When you give money to somebody, you get some products or services in return. This process of exchange is true for everything. You give anything and you will get something in return in any form. If you give love to somebody, in return you will get love. When you do not want to give something to somebody, you forget that we are acting against the principle of this universe. Until and unless you create a void by giving something, nothing will flow to you to fill that void. So give love to human beings unconditionally. Help those who lack in means according to your capacity. Take care of animals by giving them food and love and then see what happens. You'll be astonished to see how the rule of this universe comes into play and abandons flow towards you. When you plant a tree, you give something in the form of seed and work, and then you forget. Someday you are rewarded with the fruits and flowers of the tree. Everything you are, it's unknown to you. The process is continuing on its own. So how to manage the flow of abundance in your favor? There is another way of giving. When you're giving something to somebody, always give little more than the expectations of the receiver. When you pay or give a little more than the expectations of the receiver, it creates a void and the flow of gratitude or blessing starts flowing towards you. You get happiness. This is a unique experience culminating into a state of happiness. It's because when you give little more than the expectation of the receiver, you create a void and the universal law wants to fill that void or this equilibrium. To manifest this equilibrium, you are likely to get abundance in return as for the law of this universe. We may think that giving is merely humanitarian gesture and nothing more than that. It's not only so. It creates a mechanism of flow towards us. Thoughts also create flow. The way you think it creates a flow. When I give love to you unconditionally, I create that flow in return that comes back to me. So what is the process? What to do while getting something? Now think of what you should do while getting something to maintain the flow of energy. Always accept a little less to create and maintain this void. While exchanging, if we give more and accept less, the void is created, generating a flow towards us. 
to maintain the flow of abundance in your life, resulting in happiness, try to follow the following 12 principles to your best. Always give a little more when you give. Always take a little less when you receive. Always do a little more when you do. Always rest a little less than you do. Always save a little more than you may do. Always spend a little less than you want to. Always try to work a little more than you plan. Always talk a little less and listen a little more. Always be a little more positive and a little less negative. Always keep a little more patience than being frustrated. Always think a little less and do a little more. Always eat a little less than you, what you want to. And if you can follow this 12 process, 12 things, principles in life, these are definitely going to give you abundance in your life in its own way. So what are the benefits of giving? Research has shown that giving has many benefits for both the giver and the receiver. It includes increased happiness, reduced stress, improved physical health, and stronger social connections. The benefits of giving donations are many. Giving donations has its benefits. In olden days, there are customs of giving donations. It has two benefits. Number one, by giving something to others, one creates void, and that creates flow of abundance to the donor. Secondly, by giving something to others selflessly, one releases the entries of possession from within him. It helps release stress and generates happiness by reducing the burden of mind. So we have seen the, what are the benefits of giving, giving and getting, how a giving and getting is complementary to each other. So if you desire to get something in this life, always keep in mind that if you want to get something in this life, you have to give in any form. And then you wait, you will get back to this, these things in your life on it in its own way, and you will get happiness and abundance in your life. And also try to follow these 12 principles of giving and getting, right? I hope that you will remember all these principles of giving and getting, and will practice these principles of giving and getting and become happy in life. I wish that you all of you become happy and aban get abundance in your life. Also, I want to inform you that this happen this is a, my happiness number five video. Because all my happiness videos are serially numbered as one, two, three, four, five. This is the fifth video. You can see my previous videos, one, two, three, four, and every week I come up with one video on happiness. In my next video of happiness, I'll come up with some another topic and I'll talk about that so that you can get more happiness, you can practice that and you can get more happiness in your life. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon and also share this video with others and like it if you think so. Until the time I see meet you with my next video, Till that time, thank you very much. And also thanks to you for listening to me till this time. Thank you very much. All the best. Take care.